Hey, what's up guys? Matt with Movement System. Today we're going to talk about the top five strength conditioning books that you should read. You guys have been asking me what books I read and what books are always in the background of my videos. So I brought all my books right here for you guys to look at. We have personal development books, clinical and science type books, and also strength conditioning books. And in this video, we're going to talk about the five strength conditioning books that I recommend you read. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so number one and number five on this list are actually coaching specific books. And number one is Coach Wooden's Leadership Game Plan for Success. This is a book that I actually read for my coaching minor at Ohio State. And in this book, John Wooden goes over what he calls a pyramid of success. And for those who don't know, John Wooden's a legendary college basketball coach, won 10 national championships with UCLA and seven in consecutive years, and is highly regarded as one of the best basketball coaches in history. And this book really breaks down his leadership style, his coaching style, and a lot of his techniques for engaging athletes and building relationships. And I think a lot of the principles in this book are actually really easy to apply, and especially for a young strength coach or even a strength coach mid-career that wants to better connect to athletes and get those intangible things right, this is a great read. Number two on the list is The Science and Development of Muscle Hypertrophy. And this is actually the old edition. Brad Schoenfeld just came out with a new edition, which I will be getting, and it looks like this. This book is all about the science of muscle hypertrophy training. As a strength coach, it's really important to understand the science behind training. So referring to the muscle physiology, the anabolic pathways, the signaling that's involved in muscle growth, and the appropriate volume and other aspects of training that we have to consider. And this book really dives into the research involved in that. So as you can see from the book, there are pages where studies are reviewed and compared to one another, and this actually gives you a good appreciation for how the research process works and the different levels of research. Dr. Schoenfeld also does a good job of making it practical and applicable. So this isn't just heavy science. There are definitely points in this book that are heavy science and talking about pathways and receptors, uh, and that's good to know, but there's also really good practical takeaways of volume recommendations and recovery recommendations and things that you can apply immediately to your athletes and to your own training. Number three is an affordable book about program design and periodization. And this is a book that I recommend everyone pick up. It's really affordable, around $20 to $22, and it's Periodization Training for Sports. So this book by Tudor Bampa is really a classic. It's not quite as detailed as Super Training, which is really a classic. It's a little bit more applicable and a little bit more practical to your athletes. So if you wanna really learn program design and periodization and the principles and how those principles apply to different athletes, I would definitely recommend diving into this book and also having it as a reference. And number four is the CSCS book, The Essentials of Strength Training and Conditioning. I recommend that everyone picks up a hard copy of this. And you may read other books like Triphasic, you may learn about the French Contrast Method or Tier System, but at the end of the day, this is about the principles. And everything in this book is about the physiology and the science and the basic training principles. And then you can go learn other systems and really relate it back to the main principles in this book. So I've read every page of this book multiple times and know it inside and out. And I do recommend that if you're a strength coach, have this book, reference it often. And then whenever you're learning about a new system or a new method, you can actually relate it back to those training principles that are in this book. And if you want to learn more about this book and where you're studying for the CSCS, make sure to go ahead and join the Strength Conditioning Study Group on Facebook, where we could do Facebook Lives, poll questions, discussions, all about information from this book and in regards to the CSCS. Before we get into the final book, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe with notifications on so that way you don't miss any future videos. All right, and the last book we have is Conscious Coaching by Brett Bartholomew. And this book is really, really good and applicable because it has archetypes of different athletes. And when I say archetypes, I mean it introduces characteristics of a certain athlete and then talks about ways that are successful and not so successful in connecting with athletes of that type. And that's what makes it more practical than other psychology books and other sports psychology information that isn't quite as easy to apply. So if you're looking for a book that's really focused on how to connect to your athletes, go ahead and check out Conscious Coaching. So all the books that I referenced in this video are in the comments below. Those are Amazon affiliate links, so it does help the Movement System channel grow if you use those links. These are some of the books that didn't make the list. These are more like personal development. These are more clinical and science books. And these are some of the good strength conditioning books that didn't quite make the list. I'm going to keep updating the list on themovementsystem.com. So if you do have any book recommendations, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And I'll check it out and see if we can review those in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.